Hey guys, Brian Cusco here at Triple B. Uh, today we're gonna go with Brian Gundy up into the Santa Cruz Mountains and do a little herping. You're watching Triple B TV. Hey guys, what's going on? So we're not going to do any fancy editing today, but I'm just going to go put a strap to my head and we're going to go around looking under rocks and logs for some cool animals and hope we find some cool stuff and stick around to the end because I think we're going to find some pretty cool stuff. All right, guys. Seems like a great spot, all these logs laying around. Oh, yeah. It's a little damp, but not bad. Down here it's going to be a much more uh, wet than it is up there. <laughs> Do a lot of horseback riding, right? Uh, no, not much. I've ridden bareback on some wild uh, Mustangs though, which was pretty exciting. Uh, no, uh, up in Northern California. Oh, okay. Barebacking wild Mustang? Yeah. Oh, fine. Sounds like a very huge thing to do. <laughs> now he's lost his tail at one time, but these little guys have beautiful blue tails and we'll see if we can get another one. And during the heat, they move much quicker than this. Can I take a picture? It's he not a very good representative. He does not seem like the kind that you could flip on his belly and... No, no. They're very active and they're hard to hold. And they lose their tail a lot. I'm trying to get him tired out. <laughs> I don't want to lose that tail. Right. Yeah, there you can tell he's lost it before. Right? Oh, exactly, yeah. That's a skilton skink. Oh, yeah, that's a massive <laughs> he's worm. Big. Probably a nightcrawler. Yeah. They don't even GMO them that big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the iridescence on I never really noticed that on worms. I guess I've maybe noticed when I was a kid, but extremely iridescent. You know, the habitat in this zone right here is like the backside of your property, right? Yeah, it's true. Almost identical. How much property do you have? Uh, 5.7. Oh, that's good. I mean, other than the redwoods. You know, red but... And this is uh, San oh, Luis Obispo drums. area? Mm hmm. Like right along the coast? Um, it's about halfway between the 101 and the coast. Okay. Probably 15 so miles So near the coast. Cambria? Um, south of Cambria? South yeah, of Cambria. Near where Morro Bay is? Yeah. So you get off 101 mm -hmm. and make a right to go to Morro Bay? Mm -hmm. That's a Tascadero. Okay. And that's the town we're in. Oh, that's cool. I love Morro Bay. I missed your pounce. <laughs> That's the way I do it. No, I don't want to lose your tail, buddy. I'm just thinking I'm not that confident that I'm not allergic to poison oak. <laughs> now, this is a different type of alligator lizard than I've seen. It. See that, like, chevron uh, yeah, he's going on in the back? He's more, he's, his skin is more rough than the ones I'm used to seeing, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to find probably, like, subspecies out here. fold on that stomach. Yeah, isn't that something? Oh, yeah, look at that flap. Now, when they get become pregnant, and I think they have live babies, that will really start to extend. There's a lot of a lot of reserve growth there. And usually they have some mites along the ears. Oh yeah, there's some right there, yeah? Okay. Or oh it's just a shadow. I don't see this side. Nope. Pretty lizard. Almost a prehensile tail. See how it grabs? 
Yeah, that's how that um, Abronia, I was talking about that, that Mexican alligator lizard, mm -hmm. was very arboreal. Mm -hmm. It was full on using its tail for mm -hmm. hanging on to trees. I'm gonna put him in the sunlight right now. That's a great shot. Dirty hands and all. It's the only way to get a look at <laughs> There's a Jerusalem cricket. Oh, most people don't know that. Oh, I found You found a newt? And a newt and a salamander? Basically, the difference between a frog and a toad. Here's another one that's lost its tail. These are babies. The adults don't look like this at all. <laughs> They're quick little dudes. Oh, they are. Hard to catch, like you said. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that looks pretty salamander-ish to me. Sure. Yeah, that's called a. Oh, that's a different one. Yeah, that's a salmon. I'm not. I don't have no. I have no idea what kind of salmon. I don't know. Either. I'm just not married to the two of them. One of those is the only thing I've ever kept. That's. The Within the reptile amphibian realm. Uh-huh. Was it salamander? Mm-hmm. Just that same that same variety. Uh-huh. Oops, sorry, bud. I wasn't about to pick him up with my nicotine stained fingers. Because they're very absorbent. Yeah, yeah, they are. In fact they usually put off some type of uh, toxic goo. Enough to yep, there it is. There's the toxic goo right there. <laughs> Just wash your hands before you put them in your mouth. That's all. Or anyone else. <laughs> yeah. Unless I want to develop some antibodies. Well, that's the <laughs> truth. If I'd known that, we could have we got some rattlesnakes. <laughs> well, we're building up tolerances. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't know if I ever told you, but I was bit by a rattlesnake. Oh, no, I didn't know that. I was in a coma for three days. Oh, my God. Wow. Went into anaphylactic shock. Not good. That's wow, are you are you allergic to it as well? Well, I'm allergic to it. So I got a helicopter ride from Livermore to Hayward because I was bit. I was showing some friends of mine how to catch a rattlesnake without getting bit. One of them was like about your size. And five minutes after I got bit, I couldn't walk. One of the rattlesnakes. What was that? One of the rattlesnakes were about my size? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no big deal. This is how we're going to catch this. <laughs> so anyway, I, uh, I after I got bit, I cut my finger twice, sucked the blood. Five minutes later, I stopped, started falling to the ground, and the third time I fell, I couldn't get up. Just like, boom, just like that. Wow. And so a big friend of mine, about your size, threw me over his shoulder, and we walked down to the uh, road and got a ride from these guys, and they took me back to the uh, park headquarters over at um, Sonol Regional Park. Mm -hmm. You guys know Yeah, right, there. Pleasanton. Yeah, yeah. And then they, they were, lucky for me, there was a, heli a police helicopter in the area, and they said, oh yeah, we'll stop by, we'll give them a ride. <laughs> Cool. So anyway, they gave me a ride to um, Hayward, and I was there within two hours of getting bit, and I went into a coma. I went wow. into anaphylactic shock, and for three days, I couldn't see, I couldn't speak, I could hear, but I couldn't um, see and I couldn't speak. And uh, then three days later, came out of it. Since I have not picked, well, I have picked up one or two, <laughs> but I don't do that anymore. <laughs> As a rule. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Chilling right there. Chilling right there. There's a little lizard in the grass. <laughs> you watch any of his videos? Is that a snake? That's a snake. That's, That's a, a garter snake. snake, yeah. Awesome. Go ahead, you can pick it up. What's up, bud? It's a coastal garter. Focus. I was having the same problem. <laughs> I wish I could take autofocus off.
And he's definitely in shed. Just a tongue flick, but that's all I need. Oh yes, he didn't focus tongue flick. <laughs> That's perfect. Hear the quail? There's another one. Nice. Oh, look, at that. look at that tail. Isn't that just gorgeous? Is that a, that's a first tail, yeah? Yeah, never been broken, never been lost. Isn't that just amazing? <laughs> Man, that tail is incredible. Can you imagine if there's a snake that color? <laughs> we, we're not done with the day yet. <laughs> Where I'm going to take you next, there is. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Big thank you to Brian Gundy for bringing us out here today. And uh, we'll see you guys again next week. Until then, you've been watching Triple B TV. Y'all take care.